Can I ask you a question from Japan? Japan? On the issue of the formula Jen, can I ask you a question from Japan? Simon, please stop. I understand, but Simon, you know, you know, for 15 months, you know, on the issue of the formula. formula. And thank I'm you. saying that for Sir, the sake of look. equity, we should First have First of all, thank you for your service, and thank your That's husband for his service as well. On the issue of formula, I think if anything, this crisis has reminded everyone that Simon, if you could respect your colleagues and other media and reporters in here, that would be greatly appreciated. Go ahead, Mary. If anything, this, you. Sir, if you please, can the if anything, this has reminded, I think, the entire country and the world that this is not a luxury item, but an essential. Not Thank you. Not to Formula is not a luxury item. It is an essential. It is something that families across the country rely on. Is this such a valuable commodity that the president thinks that, that we need some kind of backstop, some ability to surge in the way that we do for other essential items, perhaps even some kind of stockpile? Well, I would say there have been discussion, and some members of Congress have raised questions, say, of the Defense Production Act, which that would be something which is on the table. We've not made a decision about, but would be would help address uh, uh, issues over the long term. Uh, what we are doing here is we're trying to be to ensure that states and others can plan over the long term, as in the coming months. Uh, but it is uh, it is certainly um, you know a, a reminder uh, that. Uh, not only do we need to continue to work closely with manufacturers, continue to work closely with retailers and providers, but ensure that everybody knows uh, what they can do to get access over the longer term. I'm, but I'm not, there's not a discussion of a stockpile. What we need to do is ensure we are uh, addressing any issues in the supply chain and addressing any issues with uh, speeding up manufacturing. You mentioned the, the Defense Production Act, and forgive me if I'm not understanding how this works, sure. but how would that actually work? Because you say you're exploring it, but it seems that the issue here is really not having enough manufacturing capacity. So is it really a matter of just looking for other sites? They can produce this? Well, that, that's exactly right, Mary. And so the reason why it would have a longer term impact is because the, the production of, manu of a baby formula is so specialized and so specific that you can't just use the Defense Production Act to t say to a company that produces something else, produce baby formula. It just doesn't work that way exactly. That is something that could be a consideration over the longer term. And certainly there are ways that the Defense Production Act has been used in other industries, right, as it relates to a chemical that is needed or a specific tool or part that is needed. Uh, so right now, of course, we're keeping that option under consideration, but our focus primarily is on twofold. One is increasing supply, uh, making and, and the other is making it readily available. And obviously production is working with these manufacturers and also imports, making sure we're making more ba uh, baby formula available through imports, and then making it readily available. The biggest step we can take is this WIC flexibility component, which Obviously, we took two steps, not just pushing states, but also working with Abbott to ensure they're providing a rebate for longer-term planning. And just lastly, you said that the FDA is going to have more on easing imports and some of those steps yeah. next week, but does the president believe that parents should be allowed to buy formula directly from abroad? Well, there have been difficult, there have been limitations on this because, of course, we have uh, a very high level of, um, you know, FDA approval processes uh, to ensure that we have the best formula that is safe for babies. Um, and of course, whatever formula would be imported would meet those standards. Um, but we think the best steps we can take is to work with Abbott, and Abbott has a responsibility here too to work closely with the FDA and doing the steps that are necessary to get back and operational online. We have a great deal of manufacturing capacity here in the United States. That's less the issue. The issue is obviously this was a recall in February that as a reminder was done because there in there was a factory in Michigan that had tainted formula that killed two babies. Uh, but we have a range of manufacturing capacity here. So this import um, step would be not forever or necessarily even long term. It's just to address the current need.